What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the day where we change the rims on the little Corsa. So at the moment it had these pink wheels. Now I don't mind the pink but a lot of people think it's ugly. I think it's okay. I just don't like the stretch because these are 9.5J rims so they are very like wide. So it sticks out at the side so you have to run stretched wheels otherwise they'll scratch in the arches. So today we're going to put on different mags. We're going to sell these and then just a small update. The gearbox on this car is out. She's going to get a full race single mass flywheel, racing clutch, racing pressure plate, like in soon, and some other cool things. I'm not going to spoil it, but this car is going to be like a monster when she's done. But look, there's the gearbox. The clutches are down there, the old ones. So that's going to go on soon. But for today, just going to change the max. The max is a bit of a surprise, um, and I'll explain why I'm choosing this specific max when I put it on. But yeah, so that's how we're going to start off this video. We're gonna go, we're gonna sell these, and then we're gonna go get the other mags, put it on, drop it, and then check how she looks, eh? I'm quite excited. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday, I couldn't go and buy the mags, because they only sold a bit late the previous the other ones. So we're gonna put the new rims on, and then we're also gonna raise the cars right height. Why? Because now I'm running a much broader wheel, like the new wheel's width is a lot more than the old one. So the old one is a 165, now I'm running a 195. It's a lot ugh, more strong. Yeah, so we're gonna do that now. Cool. Yeah, we got all four mags inside of this little little hatch. Look, nobody would guess I've got four wheels in here, and then the, the tools to change the the spring height. So before I explain the reasoning for the size, the rim, all of that, let me first put them on, lower the car down, and see how it looks on the right height. We've got it on now. The car is a bit low, so it might rub, but we'll put it down, see how it looks, and then we can raise it up at each four corners if it is too low. So I don't know if you noticed on that video, um, the, the rims didn't fit, the PCD was not right. So the guy sold me the wrong PCD stuff, so I just took it back, I'm going to get new mags. And then we're going to try again. Now the new ones are actually going to look different to the ones I just had. So if you think they're just going to look exactly the same, they're not, they're going to look different, okay? I did like how those ones looked though, I'm not going to lie. But apparently the guy told me these ones will even be better. Because I told him what my idea was and he said you make sure it's going to be even better. Because he did, got me the wrong size thing. So, yeah. We just, I'm, I'm going to forgive the guy. I mean, he's making sure that I'm going to get all the shit done and ready. And he's even going to deliver it to my house. So I don't, I'm not too bothered. But, yeah, so that's not going to happen today. So I'm probably going to see you then again tomorrow. Okay, so it's Friday, like three days later, I finally got my other rims. This one's hopefully actually fit. Yes, the sun is crap because it's late. Um, I'm not going to lower the car and everything today because I don't have a lot of time because I've got to go pick my girlfriend up in like half an hour. But we can fit the wheels and just see how they sit as is now. Yeah, so let's cut to that. does that look that looks freaking awesome i think that looks awesome i think this thing is too zoomed in my face though but look at that look at it Whew. that looks nice okay so the nuts i had for the wheels are too thick these ones they won't get into the wheels so i need more of these or i've got to go get the things that go into the mag then i can use these so i think that's what i'm going to do because these look all brand new but for now we're just going to put each one of the wheels on and then just drop it down to see how she's standing. 
I am gonna raise it up, so don't worry. That's not gonna stay like that. But I think it looks really nice. And if you're wondering why this specific mags, so this has the C20 XE engine, which is the same engine you can find in this Opel Superboss here in South Africa. Now, the thing with these mags were, it's almost, it doesn't look exactly the same. That was not the point. The point was not to be exactly the same. The point was to have like a, almost like a nod to the Super Boss. So it's different, but it's the same idea. And the nice thing with the 15s is it can run a relatively wide tire without having too much of a problem with the rubbing. So we're running on 195. It's not crazy wide, but it's okay. It's big for this tiny little car. So yeah, that's that's why we're using this specific rim. Um, it's because of the Super Boss and the fact that the 15, I just think, I just think is the base for the specific application. But yeah, just let me know what you think about it looks. I think it looks really nice. Tomorrow we're gonna set the height and everything, and then we're gonna go buy the rest of the bolts. So today we only got three there, two on that wheel, and then three on that wheel, and then this one I'm gonna put on with two, and then just see how it looks. But I've gotta go buy some more bolts. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks bloody nice. So we're just gonna drop the front and see how she sits. Maybe I don't even raise it. Maybe we'll just like freaking be the low gang here. Okay, after further inspection, we might have to raise it. She is a little low. Um, I couldn't even get my fingers in there. So that's a bit low. And this exhaust is most definitely gonna be a problem. So we're gonna have to like do something there. And then this side, it's also a little low. It's a bit better than there, but it's still too low. And then obviously this side's the same. So tomorrow I'm gonna go buy some new bolts for here and there, and then we're gonna raise that bit. Okay, so it's the next day, focus. I got these, so we're gonna put all of them in now. And then we're gonna just get the right out correct, and then just check the camera, because you look, look at this wheel, it's kind of straight. Then if you look at this side, it's leaning inwards. So it just looks kind of silly. So I just want to see if the camera's off. Oh shit. Or if something else is problematic underneath the car. So yeah, we're gonna get the right out correct. That's not, it's too low. The, this thing's gonna scrub like a mother. Um, raise it up a bit more in the back as well and then just stick the camera on that side. So that's the plan for now, for the day. For the day. But this looks nice, eh? Just the exhaust. By the way, I did turn the wheel. Um, it's fine. It's not a problem. There's enough space. Okay, in order to raise it, we have to turn this little thing lower and then the thing will come down. So we first have to make a marker so we can see exactly where we are in the world. So I'm going to move the marker to this one as soon as we start. And then clockwise is higher and then anti-clockwise is lower. So if you're wondering how to make it higher or lower, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, okay. We definitely did make, make it a bit higher. It's only about a 90 millimeter race. What do you call it? Yeah, like almost a centimeter. Um, I don't want to make it too high because it's going to look crappy. So I'm going to leave that one as ease, and I'm just going to lift all other corners about the same amount. And then it should be good, bro. So what do you think of this stance? I think, yes, there's a bit of space, but the thing is, we want the rear end a bit higher, so we can put the weight distribution more over the front, so we've got more weight on the front, which means we should have more grip. So there is a bit of space here, not a lot, but a little bit, enough for the corner to rub, hopefully. And then in the back, there's even more space, so you can move the weight to the front. That's the theory. Let's just check, this side I still have to do. The whole car is like leaning over now. So I fixed this wheel. It is a down like heel 
this area I'm working in. So the cart is a bit higher on this side and that side, but that's not because of anything I did. That's just how it is, like all the cars that they stand here. This side of the BM is also lower than that side. So yeah. But what do you guys think? You think it looks nice? Look at that. Yo. Look at that. Let me know down below what you think of the wheels. Like I said, this is like a head nod to the Super Boss, and I think it's freaking awesome. By the way, within the next two weeks, this car is going to start with all the other stuff. So we're going to do the standalone and the fueling and all that shit, and it's going to get a tune, and then we can actually start to drive it. So, stuff's happening. If you're excited, leave a like and subscribe. Stuff's happening with the BM as well. Um, like I said, the gearbox is out. The gearbox is lying there. So it's just getting a new flywheel, new clutch, new pressure plate today. Um, not sure when I'm gonna put it in though, but we're getting it today. Hopefully we can put it in either tomorrow or next week. It depends on time. I don't know how my, because next week I've got a crazy week. So yes, a lot of shit's happening. If you're excited for the car content, bike content, stuff, all the shit we wanna do, subscribe, because there's a lot of stuff still coming. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers,